my knees go weak What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow Staring out the window To my star for a sign Takes me as a joke <laughs> I believe you, baby Long life yeah. Oh, that's nice. You love it? Yeah, all you around. This, this, this is a sex, a sex aphrodisiac. It tastes kind of like chocolate. Mm hmm. But it's a rum. Mm -hmm. Coffee rum. So, how much is the hookah? I'm sure. Hookah, 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 hookah. smoke. Hey, uh, shisha. Yeah. More shisha. Yeah, special with the 70 and then the normal one, the small one, the small pot, which is 50 40. Wow, if I really love shisha, I would be doing that all the time. Can you smoke weed in here? Yeah, sure. yeah, wow. because they, they, they smoke weed here. Like, come on, police. what more can you ask for? Nothing, they have everything, they, 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 have they, everything. they just don't have the marketing. So can you prepare for goes out for them? I can. I can. started hitting me and guys I almost died that night um the way the camera was spinning that's how I was spinning just to let you guys know this was my last <laughs> partying night in Accra after this night I gave up partying in Accra for a pretty long time I mean we had a lot of fun it was a random Tuesday I believe and it was just a lot. I was so lit. And I was like, why is he grabbing on my booty like that? Okay, this is not for kids, okay? If you're a kid, log off now. No. <laughs> All right, you ready? What should you wear? Are you wearing this bubble slacks? All right, babe, we'll be back. Is that? We'll be back. Well, I'll be back. So. Yeah, you'll be back. No. Well, I'm going to also go out. Yeah, you need to take a bath first, though, right? Yeah, I'm going to take a bath. <laughs> mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I feel refreshed this morning, um, but we're actually on the way. I said I feel I feel refreshed this morning. How does shots make you feel refreshed? Well, the shots made me feel relaxed yesterday. Yeah, I really got home and passed out. <laughs> it was it was bad. I was so tired. Um, but wow, the dog left their boo boo right in the middle of the street. Right here. It's pretty gross. It's very big. <laughs> you said, what did you for real? That's a real. <laughs> they be walking around there. looking for food. They be eating though, or they would starve to death. Oh shoot, we gotta hurry up and get there. It's raining. So today is Shanae's. Uh, Second day of lessons. The first day, she said she didn't really learn anything but how to take out braids, which is I feel important. But I know how to take out braids. No, but there's a technique where you can take it out quicker, without tangling the hair, without hurting your client. Oh, I want to show you my friend's daughter, who his daughter is 15. She is making so much money. She has her own website. She has her own Instagram page and she's doing goddess braids on all the little girls and she's charging them full fee. Your shirt is dirty. So, so I saw that girl on I think I sent you her page. Cause I was like, I want you to be inspired by her. She's only 15 and like my friend, he promotes her page all the time. He's like, always oh, like, follow my daughter's hair page, this, that, and the other and yes, so. In Atlanta. And we left. But by the time we get back to Atlanta, you will be styling hair. So I really want you to take this class serious. I'm going to be there for like 20 minutes, no, 20 please. to 30 minutes. I, baby, I have to work. I have to work. I have to work. I have to work. Okay. Um, Got to make some money to pay for your class. Got to pay her next week. So pretty much I'm paying her. 500 CDs um, $5. every week. No, $50. $50. The total class is $125 because she's going to also learn how to do nails. I'm she's going to be learning nails. acrylic nails as well. So um, we're doing $125 now for her hair and then $125 for her nails. Um, but I wanted to test out, see how she does with the nails first. Um, <laughs> But you didn't know my name for the outfit made. So we can take pictures. But sometimes on Saturday, I'll go there. Yeah, so. If I clean my room. Um, what was I saying? But, yeah, so we're paying. We're doing. We're starting with the hair first. And then we'll do the nails next month. Um, so, yeah. Look what at else? the dogs. So these that do not be. They be pooping up. Um, it's about to rain, <laughs> but yeah, I can only stay 30 minutes, maybe max, because I have to um, work today. I haven't worked in three days, and so I'm very nervous to see how my check is gonna look. <laughs> but, um, and for those who don't know where I work, I work for a hotline, um, it's an advisor hotline. I do work as a psychic, sure, mommy, you tarot know, reader, um, an oracle should, reader, and you, astrologer. Okay, astrologer. let me tell you something. Okay, so you should do, you should find your own shop like that, and then you should make it a psychic shop, and then you do it in person. Yeah. 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 You can yeah. sell crystals too, and you can sell your stuff. Yeah, yeah, I definitely want to do that. I definitely want to do that. Um, we were talking about that yesterday. Oh, I also picked up some waist beads yesterday. So I'm gonna be shipping those to the US for anybody who's interested in getting some waist beads from your girl. These are authentic West African waist beads. You're gonna love them. These new designs that I've got are just super gorgeous um, and very, very much popping. Um, so much so that he actually increased the price on me. 
so they're actually way more expensive so i'm thinking about actually going up on the price of the waist speed but yeah so that's where we're going now No, this is a serious matter because I just paid a lot of money. And if you're not going to take this serious, let's just be done with it. But leaving the lessons, like you didn't tell me you left. No, 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 no. You are here from 4 to 7 on Friday and 12 to 3 today. Do you not want to do it? You wanna just stay home all day? Cause you're not gonna have your iPad. You're not gonna have any, you are here to learn something that is gonna be able to be beneficial for you in the long haul. You said you wanna be a cosmetologist. Like, why aren't you taking this seriously? She said she wasn't doing anything. Do you wanna, was she doing, what was she doing? Mm -hmm. So, you know, applying pressure to your children to do something, it's like a 50-50 situation because on one hand, you don't want to force them to do anything that they don't want to do. But at the same time, you don't want them to give up when things get difficult. And I'm just trying to learn how to differentiate when it's something that she's just giving up on. Um, in this situation, I feel like she just gave up because, you know, it was getting difficult. But I'm her mother, so I'm going to push her to be better. And, yeah, she has not given up. Thank God. We're working with her, and we'll see the end result. Hey, YouTube, I'm back again. Um, I'm actually about to go pick up little Nay from her um, hair braiding lessons. And, yeah, we're excited. Um, I left her up there, told her I would come get her because this girl last week told me that she went to her class and she, she said she stayed the whole time. That was not true. When I got to the hair braiding studio, the lady was like, she said she was getting some water and she was coming back. She never came back. So... This is why we're here, you know, to teach my baby about resilience. Um, teaching her that she can't quit when things get hard. Um, that's one thing I will say about Africans. Very, very resilient people, okay? Very resilient, they push, they push through. Think about it, their life isn't easy. I mean, nobody's life is easy. For the most part i'm not saying that people in the states don't have it hard um not saying that there's poverty all over the world um 
but what I will say is there's opportunities that we take for granted as being citizens of the United States that literally they just don't have that option out here. Um, for example, credit. <laughs> Actually, credit is pretty easy to get. Even if you don't have money, credit is easy to get. You can still go down to your payday loans. You can still, you know, get bad credit cards, but it's still possible. You get what I'm saying? For them, they don't have those luxuries. Um, another thing, uh, free school, public education. Although we pay for education through our taxes, it's not directly coming out of our pockets, all right? It's a difference when you have no other choice but for it to come out directly out of your pockets. They still pay taxes. They definitely still pay taxes here. Um, but public education is not free. Even public education, you have to pay for it. So, the fact that a lot of them, I still never get tired of seeing goats. <laughs> um, even though, you know, they have these obstacles, these adversities, they still push through as a, as a culture of people. And I think it's very inspirational. And um, it was one of the reasons why I feel like my daughter needs to experience this life um so she knows like girl you need to push through life is not easy and it's not always gonna be easy for you there's gonna be times you're gonna have to do things you don't want to do there's gonna be times where you have to work hard it's life there's gonna be times when it's easy but you can't give up every time things get hard um, if you do, you won't make it very far in life and you'll probably most likely never accomplish the things that are really important to you. So, yeah, that's my lesson for her. And yep. Okay.